Hello, my name is Nicole, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. Today, I titled this message, Celebrate Your Independence. Celebrate Your Independence. You see, we don't have just a history in our land of being independent from domineering leadership, establishments, religious orders, and so forth, but we have personal histories where we became independent of people, places, and things. And so today we celebrate independence. We celebrate the fact that we are no longer walking on eggshells, having stomach upset, having headaches, worrying about what this one and that one says, worrying about whether or not, you know, we're doing the good thing and making somebody feel special and all of that other stuff. We are celebrating the fact that we are no longer spiritually, physically, mentally bound to someone or some group. Celebrate your independence. Of course, those who are still in bondage, they don't want you celebrating any independence. They don't want you celebrating the fact that you're divorced. They don't want you celebrating the fact that you uh, are no longer a part of certain groups anymore. They don't want you celebrating the fact that you don't have to pick up the phone and call certain family members or come around them. They don't want you celebrating the fact that you are free to go and come when you want. Nope, people who have that stuff that's still sitting on their chest, that's still in closets, that's still under beds, that's still here, there, and everywhere. Nope, they encourage you to stay bound. They don't think that that's what they're doing, but they are when they're telling you to do something that you really don't want to do. They are when they're telling you to rely on this one and that one. They are when they're telling you to go and live with this one and go and do this for that person. And you're saying to yourself, wait a minute, isn't that putting me into some type of bondage with that person all over again? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You got to listen to some folks when they're giving you some advice that's only swinging you back in a direction of bondage. Didn't I just come up out the church setting? Didn't I just be released from religious orders and systems, then why are you sending me back to it? Why are you telling me I need to be a part of this, that, and the other? Unless God himself is speaking to me in the spiritual realm, I have no desire of being linked up with this group and that association and this, uh, you know, whatever. I just don't, you see. So we got to pay attention to what is the motive behind some people wanting us to pick up the phone and call this one. And what's the motive behind, you know, some folks wanting us to put money into a certain group month after month after month. And what is the motive behind some folks wanting us to start doing some things that all before they never had a problem with but now they want us to do it and it's actually bringing us down it's not uplifting us you've got to question people's motives saints you've got to look at why they do what they do why they say what they say you see sometimes we find ourselves not celebrating our independence because well we don't want to hurt other people's feelings I know that sounds odd, but it's so true. I don't want to appear as if I am free in Christ because I know some people are bound and I don't want to talk like I'm independent of anything because, well, I don't want them to start saying or doing anything to upset my independence. So instead, I'm just going to act as if I'm just like everybody else. That's not a good thing either to do. No, you celebrate the fact that you're independent and that you're free in whatever situation that you were once bound in. And maybe it may not be so spiritual and holy and wonderful, but as long as you are free out, up out of certain situations, then I don't see what's wrong with just saying, not bragging, of course, but just saying that I don't have that type of problem anymore. Or I'm not a part of that particular group anymore. Or I'm not bound to that sort of, uh, you know, establishment. Or I am not married anymore. I'm divorced, you know, and I'm actually content with being in uh, this space that I'm in. 
And no, I don't celebrate holidays and I'm not ripping and running and going to this family member and that family member's house because I no longer deal with those people. There's nothing wrong in saying that. But people, like I said, who are bound, who feel like they have to report to this one and that one. Well, they don't feel free. Okay, they don't feel free and they don't want you free. So this is a season of celebrating all things independent. Okay, more specifically, those things I got, <laughs> of course, I got to put him in um, into this. But those things I got would approve. We are happy. We are grateful. We are thankful. Uh, and we are celebrating uh, future independence. If some of us are still bound by certain people, places and things, we're we're celebrating future independence. We're thanking God for what he's about to do. We are grateful that he is opening up doors and opening up opportunities for us to no longer be relying on uh, certain people any longer. OK, celebrate that. Say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I may not be completely free right now, but Lord Jesus, I know my freedom's coming. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for release. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for just working on my mind so that I can slowly but surely uh, be free of a parent, be free of a, a daughter or a son who has got me bound um, to be free of a, a religious order or doctrine, to be free of a civic group that has been spending up all my money, to be free of a workplace that is suffocating me. Come on, celebrate that newfound independence that's coming your way. Hallelujah. And thank you, Jesus. You know, and when you do this sort of thing and you're grateful for God and you got all the faith in the world in in the Lord. Well, you can't help but see the blessing right around the corner because you are declaring that you trust in him. And he likes to see that sort of thing happen. So I thank you as always for taking the time out your busy schedule to listen. Be encouraged this day. Please do check the description box for anything related to your situation. And as always, to God be the glory.